A 240mm all-in-one liquid cooling system featuring two high static pressure 120mm RGB PWM fans. Now looking at the system overall, you can see that it's using a sleeve cable which is 1cm thick and also using a copper base plate for helping with the heat transfer. Now aside from that, there's also a 360mm radiator variant if you choose to go triple radiator setup. Now, aside from that, you can tell that the radiator is 2.7 cm thick. That's the number important for some people. And you can actually mount up to four fans, two on both sides if you choose to do so. Now, benefit of installing the liquid cooling system, which is behind right there, is the thumb screws, the big thumb screws. That actually help with the toolless experience installation into the PC behind me. The radiator pump is connected to the CPU fan header while the radiator fans are connected to the smart fan controller. The fan has 256 RGB color which you can dial into a specific color or let it cycle through the 256 color in a loop like a rainbow or pick between four solid colors red, blue, green, white for your system. I set mine to aqua blue. The controller also controls the fan speed. There's two modes. The red LED mode, aka the low noise mode, makes the fan to spin between 400 and 1000 RPM. And that's great for people who do, does not want noisier system. Now, there's a performance mode, which is also the blue color LED, which helps the fan to spin around 800 to 1500 RPMs. Performance and benchmark time. This is my first time that I get an aftermarket cooler because all this while in my gaming PC and the second PC that I built for rendering is only using Intel stock cooler. So this is my first time getting a liquid cooling system and let's see the performance and wow! There is 10 degrees Celsius difference on ideal, 13 degrees Celsius for CPU load only and 15 degrees Celsius difference when CPU and GPU ambient temperature kicks in. What amazed me is the differences between CPU load alone and CPU with the GPU GPU combined is still under 50 degrees Celsius while the stock cooler keeps on climbing again. Having a hot CPU is not a good thing as it may introduce thermal throttling as well as eating up more power. Having liquid cooling system is very important for me because in two situations, gaming, I game usually in the hot afternoon and man, hot afternoon means the ambient temperature is bad. You can even fry an egg on the road and I need to take out as much heat away from the system out to the PC case, plus point there. The second important bit is this YouTube channel for you guys, the videos. I render my videos at 4K and upload them at 4K. I record them at 4K. I do not want the CPU to be under load because when the CPU is under load, especially during when I'm using stock Intel stock cooler, the scrubbing is not that easy. Even editing the uh, footage uh, there is some lag because of thermal throttling and CPU throttling because the temperature can easily go 75 degrees and above and with 75 degrees and above that's a bad news because then you have to underclock slightly or you cannot have the option to overclock because the system is not uh, cool enough so with the liquid cooling system now I know that the ambient temperature even though with a GPU ambient uh, heat is introduced into the PC case, I know it can go under 50 Celsius. This gives me the opportunity to overclock the PC by maybe another 10 to 15% and the temperature range would still be reasonable. So, will I recommend this liquid cooling system? Yes. Does the RGB light looks fancy and look sexy? Bloody yes! Finally, I have an RGB ring light in my system. It makes my light go blink, blinky, blinky in the background. So, thanks for watching this video. Remember to comment below what do you think about this Water 3.0 Thermotex cooling system? What other liquid cooling system that you guys are using? Remember to like and subscribe and see you guys at calvinpixels.com. I'm so hungry. You guys like cut ramens? Let's go hunt cut ramens. <laughs>